Hello, ego reviewers. Hello, readers. Ego review viewers. <laughs> it's time for the final exciting conclusion of the Chizo Mythos. Six days and IGN logo. Six days, uh, title doesn't really scan as well as five days or for seven days. But this one's actually relevant. Oh, okay. So you better just make a start then. So click on new game? Yes. There's no like a... Ooh. <laughs> no. Not, not that commentary. So, comment on your commentary. What do you remember being set up in Trilby's notes, plot-wise? Uh, okay, the... Well, it gave an identity to the sort of overarching, you know, cause of the um, evil. There's the, yes, the weird there's... pan-dimensional thing that has its avatar in the form of that thing you stole from blood. Yes, there's the evil dark god Jizo, yeah. and its avatar, the tall man. And the tall man is plus, uh, seemed to be plotting okay, with... Nice. Um, cult called the Order of Blessed Agonies to bring Chizo into our world. Mm. And the method they were going to use to do that was by creating a bridge. The bridge is John Defoe, a creature of both magic and technology. Uh, okay, so now if, we've got... Uh, okay. Let's... And to create the bridge, we have to destroy all three aspects of John Defoe, his body, his mind, and his soul. But okay. And they have to be destroyed in some kind of conjunction. But how can they do that when the body was destroyed in 1993 and the soul was destroyed 400 years later? Hmm. Oh, cool. So uh, are we going to be able to sort of experience the other games? Like, is this kind of like a... No, this, uh, is, this is just like a recap of uh, the what happened to the bodies and souls of John Defoe. Okay. Is that... Um, bit on the left, new or like, like, did you reanimate that? It's the same graphics, but uh, that slow fadey animation thing was put in for this. Ah, and now you see the idol doing the same thing. Bye bye, idol. Bye bye. You got thrown into jet exhaust or yeah. super hyperspace exhaust. Nice one, Doctor Jonathan Somerset. You fulfilling a prophecy. <laughs> uh, nifty. So now we are in the exact center point between those two events in the 22nd century. Boop. And I need my eyes checked. Left click to walk, right click on hotspots to open menu. Okay. Yes, the interface hey, look is at this. much more refined and very seven days of skeptic y. Um, oh, that's not fun. As well as uh, all the standard controls, you have a phone and a journal to collecting all the documents you find. You foolish women and your magazines. You're not the right demographic. There's still gender roles in the 22nd century. Ew, what a fuss pot we are. <laughs> oh, unfit. Ophthalmology is a thinly disguised pastiche. Oh. Ophthalmology. It's a... Yes, it's a... Custom made religion. Oh, okay. I thought I was at like an eye doctor's. <laughs> oh, no, that more or less <laughs> fixes that. Yep, that's Scientology, alright. Yeah, he's telling us to piss off. <laughs> yeah, so we're, uh, we're, our name is Mr. DeCarb, and we are a council planning inspector. Mm. Excitement. <laughs> Riveting. Because there's still council planning in the 22nd century as well. That's why we're wearing a weird futuristic tie. Is that what it is? I thought he was wearing suspenders. Get a look at him. No, it's a weird futuristic sort of office outfit. Oh, okay. Look at his blue boots. <laughs> it's that's, the future. That's for wading through planning documents. That's, you know, those, those tend to get into your pants pretty bad. So we're telling this... Uh, priesty looking bloke that we're here to inspect the, the facilities mm. because there's some um, rumors floating around that they might be constructing without planning permission so that's, as a good council planning inspector we have to go and look into it that's what gets them like you know al capone brought down by taxes you know something it's like just <laughs> throw them in the hole yes apparently there's something he didn't want us inspecting yeah there's Probably like those Scientology compounds where they lock kids up in the basement and torment them. Oh, we've missed this, didn't we? The whole day's structure. Oh, okay, so there's, that's a definite factor of it, all right. Yes, we missed that in Chilby's notes. Mm. Mysterious. Yeah, there's a lot of mystery in this game. 
Why don't you uh, sound out your thought process as you watch what's happening? Um, okay, so I'm presuming that's my little avatar over there because of his booties. Uh, the door is... Obviously something's wrong with it, or it's the graphics. Um, I'm guessing that's not Trilby to the right there. Well, it kind of looks like Trilby. I know, but that's uh, what I was going to say. Maybe he's like a descendant, or has Trilby got some ability to stay alive? Because this is 196 years after 1993, right? Yes. Okay, so... I think it's fair for me to presume that he's not alive, unless some sort of... I suppose, what happened at the end of the other one? Maybe he, um... The end of Trilby's notes. Yeah, maybe something happened and now he's cursed with, you know, long life. That's one thought. Employer, so he hasn't moved up the ranks at all. You think after 196 years, the dude would be like, at least, you know, vice president. If he has the same employer. Uh, he got bought out. So we got shoved down elevator shaft. And now we're in an under- underground facility. That door's driving me mental. God damn you. God damn you. Shakespearean, this dialogue. Door. What the fuck is wrong with it? Oh, okay. Something's banging on it in that very silent way people do. (laughs) It's weird to me that someone's banging on it, but nobody's sort of addressing that. So this uh, doctor... Looks like Siobhan. ...who was uh, helping us out is called Dr. Samantha Harty. Oh, right. I'm still me in the bed. I thought I was taking over another. Yeah, no. Okay. Nothing escapes our character. Hmm. Athletic. Wait. <laughs> Did it say absurdly fashionable? Absurdly old-fashioned. Oh, okay. Console. Well, it would be. He's wearing his... Uh, uh, it appears to be the touchscreen of a pleb. He's wearing his Trilby's Notes outfit. Um, in the 22nd century. Mm. Okay, so I'm presuming I have to get out of bed, so I'm going to try... Right, stop that. I'm going to try talking to Samantha. Okay. She's looking at you questioningly. Okay. But you can't say... You have to communicate non-verbally, because the Trilby guard uh, wants you to shut, shut up. Yeah, have a good look at that. That'll help. I don't know why. Oh, fuck it. This is kind of interesting. Again, like, we're we're uh, making our sprites so we don't have to animate arms swinging. Ha ha ha. So the console needs a password. Hmm. Yeah, those, You're a dick. Those arms are just bolted to those pockets. <laughs> <sighs> All right, how do you? Okay, no idea how to activate a privacy screen. Yeah, and you okay, can't that move needs a from. Password. And you can't move from where you are. I'll move. Oh, bin maybe. That's what bin about. Okay. You can't unlock any more things by looking at them. Okay. That's all the things you can deal with already. Uh. Yeah, he did that already. Yeah, She's going to walk I, right over it, stare at it, and walk all the way back in case another insight would come to mind. To the privacy screen. All right, well, that doesn't do anything. I can't get near the... All right, okay, I'm going to have to try something else here. All right, get away from that. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You can't really do any more by talking to Samantha at this point. Okay. Okay. Um, talk, okay, I'll try. Hmm. You're a dick, buddy. Yeah. You used to be cool, Trilby. What happened to you? Yeah, man. Now you just work for the man. I'm presuming that the answers are all going to be the same, but I'm going through them all anyway, just in case one of them's the... Oh, no, actually. Oh, look at that. You make the uh, incoherent groan. <laughs> things will develop a little. Gabriel's playing this, if you couldn't tell. All right, now I'm presuming while he's there, she can maybe go to the desk. Uh, no. All right, nope. Grab him! Throw him down! Ooh, gotcha there, Mr. fucking douche nozzle. 
fuck all. Now I got your password and I can... You used to be a lot smarter as well, Trilby. Yeah, what the fuck happened, man? The professional thief just got pickpocketed. That's got to be galling. <laughs> Psst. Okay, console. Yeah, all right. Okay, now we, that is a development. Okay. <laughs> Futuristic <laughs> privacy screen. You can tell because privacy's written over it. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, son. That's, that's an interesting... Like, that's... How come nobody was no... Oh, shit. He's playing his face guitar. Well, that's the end of Trilby. Yeah, well, he, it was... He was a nice hero while it lasted. <laughs> he died as he lived. A giant dick. So, to give us some insight into the design process here, what I wanted to do was to immediately bombard the player with mysteries and questions. Like, why is Trilby here? And uh, suddenly acting like a dick. Mm. Why, why did we get pushed down an elevator shaft? Why was nobody really paying attention to the fact that the tall man was out there bashing on the door? Why was he bashing on the door? What was he doing? You'd think he'd have the keys. Or just be able to sort of like, I'm in the room now because I am magic. He's just sort of been hanging around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did other people like walking past that hallway that look down? There's just this big fucking demon looking thing just bashing the door. Bashing the door. Well, they'd probably have, you know, thought, ooh, that's spooky. <laughs> that's like glancing through a door in The Shining. Yeah, I'm, I'm not dealing with whatever that is. Okay, Sam's establishing that the optimology or religion is actually the Order of Blessed Agonies that uh, we found out about in the last game. Okay, so why So does... actually the tall men are on their side. Hmm. All right, so how come Sam is about that? Like, well, is she working... Yeah, what's what's she doing here? That's the other question. Oh, uh, okay. This was not something I've missed. Uh, Janine sounds nice. Yes. This is establishing that there's, as well as yourself, the cult is holding two other prisoners here. Sam and another woman called Janine. Oh, okay, all right. Where'd it go anyway? Yeah, we I didn't see of... anything. We were, she was blocking the blocking the line of sight. Just a mercenary. Yeah. Are you able to see out through the... So that's like a one-way privacy shield. Yeah. I, that's what I think of it as. With privacy crudely on it. <laughs> what was the design choice in writing privacy on it like that? To indicate that it was a privacy screen. Okay. So even though it was labeled a privacy screen like in the dialogue, I yeah. know it was just because it was kind of like really crudely like it didn't. I'd expect it to be in sort of like a kind of techno font or something. Or just it was like a kid had started at the top and written it with crayon. So with the Trilby come mercenary guard dead, there's now just the the three prisoners and one cultist left in the underground complex, according to. Dr. Harty. Okie dokie, and I'm presuming maybe the tall man just wandering about stabbing faces. Yeah, he's just doing his thing. You you, you don't know him. Okay, so i got to find Janine. got to find Janine. Capture She's, the cultist. Janine has been finding some weapons. So Good on now you, this, Janine. Now that you, the, the incredibly injured man, must help bring down a cultist. Ow. Oh. We lost our chance to get a good look at our futuristic tie. Damn. Yeah, you're interacting with the desk there. Boop. Boop. So all these get added to your journal now. Oh, okay, cool. So if you use the journal in your inventory, you can read all this again. Or you can go to the top menu and select journal from there. Um, I'm presuming these play into puzzle-solving elements, or is it just for fluff? Um, not really. The, most of the journal text is, uh, like world building stuff oh, okay. but the phone comes into puzzles now and again oh, yeah on, I think you're no... I think you're wearing most of them <laughs> there's no morphine in there it's dose me up good alright can yeah. I go through the door that the tall man was I do believe you can what will happen well 
You will go through it into the room beyond. Ah, okay. Notice I couldn't be asked animating the doors opening in this game. <laughs> that was also the case in Chilby's notes. I could be asked to do it in five days and seven days, but not from that point forward. So you, interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting the sort of... we gain in soundtrack we lost in animating doors. Mm, well, one thing or the other. Okay. Okay, so wait, was that the... Yeah. Yeah, that was the door. That's the same off. corridor you were just in. Um, all right, that's not some kind of camera, doodad. I can't look at those signs, but I can sort of... You can infer what the signs mean. Yeah, that looks like a security camera. Well spotted. Um, so I might go have a poke around in there. Stop mumbling. Do, do, do. Okay. There better be a roast chicken in that barrel. For roast chickens. That's the fucking use I'll have for it. Barrel doesn't do anything, but the barrel ties into a, like a short text adventure I released as part of the run-up to this game. I released... <laughs> I released three short text adventures as like a sort of establishing world building shit. What, the Adventures then, of Billy the Barrel? And in one of them, you played like a like a disillusioned acolyte of the Order of Blessed Agonies, and you discover this base, and but uh, don't really do much in there. It's just to sort of establish things. And amongst other things, you find the Barrel of Petrol. And that's the door you came through in the text adventure, but that door will never open in this game. Ah, uh, okay. The barrel of petrol. You do not do not argue with barrel of petrol. Petrol. I am the ancient god of petrol. Laboratory. That's the one. Yeah. See how intuitive this is. Oh, okay. So that's security locks. Nothing I can do in there, and I don't have an electrical engineering degree, so I can't just go jabbing around. That was where I came from. So it's off to the. Early. Hey, what's up? It's Ooh. your specs. I'm going to make a spectacle of myself. Please don't. <laughs> Jesus shit. That's pixel perfect graphics for you. <laughs> so you have a curved lens. Mm. All right, that's my lens. I have a chat to Samantha. The reason why Sam couldn't go off and uh, do this in place of the incredibly horribly injured man She's a woman. Well, it's because she said she had other things to do. But it seems the other things she had to do were to fucking stand there waiting for you to get the guns. <laughs> That's... This is a recurring theme in this game. No one has any sympathy at all for you being smashed all to fuck. <laughs> I'm fucking hurt. Well, it's part of the theme, you see. I mean, if you remember, we established in Trilby's notes that the Order of Blessed Agony is practiced three sort of ritualistic forms of pain. Uh. Agony of the body, we've got covered. And I'll just remind you that agony of the soul was the loss of something on which you emotionally depend. And agony of the mind was boredom, fear, and madness. Uh. I'd be in charge of agony of the nipples. You might want to keep all that in mind. It may uh, come up. Okay. I haven't. You didn't press left properly. Oh, oh so I can. You have to go right on the edge, and and maybe click on the floor rather than the wall. Hey, a person. What's that? There's uh, some people nothing. think like you. You enter this room by the wrong side, but no. It's just that the camera has switched sides from one wall to the other because the previous doors were on the outside of the circle. And this door is on the inside of the circle. Uh -huh. If you see what I mean. Isn't this the same corridor? Yeah, this is, a, right. this is a circular hub corridor. Okie dokie, pig and a pokey. Um, okay, so I'm crippled. I'm chasing yep. a person. I can't go into that room yet uh, That room yet, because we need the weapons. The woman who appears to have the weapons just got out. All right, Sam, did you see? You... Well... I'll just say that Janine went into the leftmost door. So you can find her there. Come to think of it, I'm not sure why I made it so you had to go and see her in that room before you could go into this room. Maybe I just wanted to, the player to scope, ah! scope out the entire surroundings <laughs> before you really advance the plot. Walk around. It's very flaggy. I was playing Cave Story this week and... Uh, it occurred to me how incredibly flaggy that game, that game design is. Ah, uh, disgusting flaggots. The first thing you have to do is pick up 
I pick up a pendant from the bottom of a lake, and until then, no one will give you the time of day. <laughs> it just is the sets... pendant of socialization. Or... Yeah, like you got a you encounter a character a bit later, and then they go, "Oh, that pendant! I recognize that." But you couldn't actually have spoken to them until right. you got the pendant. That means I can talk to you. The pendant of friendly, a so, friendland. Surprising number of characters in this game have cyan text. Um, visibility factor. I mean, it is nicely legible. Possibly. Yasi doesn't know. Maybe we're just going through a very cyan phase at the time. Of course, Theo's text isn't that great. It's grey. Because he's a boring council inspector man. <laughs> oh, and Janine is frightened of some... of something. She's frightened of a man. The tall man? Possibly. No, oh, you're cool, Jean. All right, so what do? I... But now you got some guns. Guns. Yeah. Well, you've only got one arm. Uh, well, if America's taught me anything, it's that guns solve every problem. Well, yes. I mean, any problems that remain yeah. are just because not enough people not had guns. guns. Yeah. Any problem caused by guns is because not enough people had guns. Yeah, that's just everybody armed to the teeth. Yeah, like a hair trigger of paranoia. But you know, some people will have better guns. So the only so go, logical go, yeah, solution yes. is to take it to the conclude to the obvious logical conclusion and give everyone a nuclear warhead. Yeah, just as a kind of vest. Yeah. So at any minute they can just be like, "Oh fuck you!" Then. And if someone will say, "I'm going to kill you," and then you go, "No, you won't," because I've got a nuke on my chest. <laughs> and they go, "Dull, foiled yeah, again." The ultimate perfection of the mutually assured destruction democracy. So the cultist just let slip that Sam was actually working for the cult when they locked her up. Mm. Mm. And there's that symbol of the Order of Blessed Agonies again, which isn't IGN. which isn't a D-pad. <laughs> I swear that was IGN's actual logo in like 1990, maybe it was 2002. Huh? Oh, what's this? Your head's looking suspiciously uncaved in. What's going on? I have questions. Good. I'm going ask, to play through. Ask your questions. This is doing a much better job than all the other games so far of making me want to play more. Because it's all mysteries so far, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, it's cheap, but... Yes, the... Oh, thanks, Buddha. The, the most interesting thing you can give a viewer is a closed box. Yeah. I so do you remember the scene that. at the end of Trilby's Notes where Trilby's dying and a mysterious figure speaks to him? Yes. Well, this that was him. Oh. That was this guy. Oh, okay. A mysterious, seemingly magical being. Hmm. He can teleport. Oh, yeah. Threesome time. We got eight beds, two ladies, and... A, and broken ribs. And this will be great. really broken man. <laughs> uh, fucking with injuries sucks. It's like trying to fuck with a headache. Have you ever tried that? You know, it's, it's kind of funny you should bring that up. Anyway. Excellent. Why? Why? Well, you'll find out. Oh, all right. Are we? Did you put a threesome in this? Is this like. No, I didn't put a threesome in this. So I don't get sex cards? This is well, like a Witcher 3 sex card situation? Well, actually. Hmm. Hey, girls, I got this way that we can, like, reduce stress. Um, well, well, not for me. I'm, my neck's broken. <laughs> Life finds a way. So. <laughs> The funny thing we're establishing here is that the reason why uh, we had we were sent to the building to inspect it was because Janine sent a tip off to the police about their situation, and the uh -huh. police, in response, got the council to send an inspector, <laughs> rather than a SWAT team or anything, because the police weren't exactly clear on how urgent the situation was. This demonic apocalypse cult doesn't have the correct amount of fire extinguishers. Well, I guess Janine just rang them and goes, Help, they're building an evil fortress. They're going to summon their dark god. And the police went, Building? <laughs> That's what a, do we yeah. look like? The council? It's a town planning issue. We're going to kick this up the stairs. Right, exposition time. 
Yeah, there's something important in the center of the hub, but not, neither of them behind are behind that big door. Behind the big door, yes. Okay, the cultists are gone. So there used to be a whole bunch of cultists in the facility, and now there's only one left. And the hat man, hat who man. Keeps, keeps coming back to life. I'm the motherfucking hat man. It's almost as if they're intending to abandon the place. Hmm. Yeah, I established this. Keep up. Sam, Hearty. <laughs> Hearty, by the way, was Phil's name from uh, Five Days a Stranger. Just as uh, Dr. William Taylor from Seven Days had the same surname as Simone Taylor from Five Days. And just as Barry Chahal from Seven Days had the same surname as Abed Chahal from Trilby's Notes. Hmm. So there's a. So that's the. That, Janine's last name is pronounced Ozahoski. It was the name of someone I knew in middle school. Were you friendly with them? Not really. He was an <laughs> upper year. I just remember the name very clearly. It is an interesting name. Wasn't it? So yes, Janine was a journalist. Ah. She uh, had a snoop around and then they threw her in a cell. And Sam was already there. She was doing contract science. I prefer not to say, fuck you, we're locked in, fucking tell me, we're not going anywhere. This is part of Sam's characterization. she's very, there's a lot of stuff she's not telling you because she's kind of a sketchy figure. I would not tolerate that in this situation. Well, what are you going to do, man? You've got, you've got a broken arm and a broken neck. Yeah, but she's a woman. You can't slap her about. Yeah, give it a good honest try. Or she'll give you my one good backhand. I've got one in me. Yeah, I'm winding then, it up, and then she will touch you, and you'll go, <laughs> nah, "Stop!" That's an MMA fight I'd watch. Incredibly crippled man versus woman with no combat training. Don't be sexist. How it's do not you... sexist. That's fucking hilarious. How do you know she hasn't got combat training? She's a sketchy figure because she's a scientist. Well, some that doesn't mean she can't work out and fuck all women really get into that kind of thing so already there's like now, less and now less. You're, well now you're being sexist no I'm not that's, a, that's an actual fact there's less women who get into things like MMA and martial arts and no capoeira doesn't count fine the so canning is a low level acolyte who's just been instructed to stop them from escaping and Sam believes that he's being kept prisoner as well but he's too dense to realise it ah oh, okay uh, yes, who was Didn't the they both the get shot? I thought... No, they just got knocked out oh, by okay. the bald man. Oh, right. I thought, the, actually, I thought a gunfight happened and the bald dude appeared. Whoa, Janine knows Trilby. <laughs> and the reason for that is that Trilby has become <laughs> a sort of fictional character in the future. <laughs> Hotel horror. Yeah. He's a cosplayer. I knew it. They're the villains. <laughs> They're always villains. Never trust a cosplayer. Never trust cosplayers. They're fucking evil. And they oh, yeah. usually work for cults. Um, so, by, so by this time, most people believe Trilby was fictional, like Sherlock Holmes or something. Oh, okay. But Janine believes he may really have existed. Mm. Because, uh, you know, some old newspapers mention him. This comes into things later. I think Janine well, will talk more about it if you go through conversation with her. Right. Exposition over. Now to contrive a reason to wait till tomorrow for the day's format. <laughs> well, in this case, it might be because the man in red is manipulating events. Mm, fair enough. Well, I mean, you know, don't wander the things at night. Why? Oh, the tall dude's wandering yeah, around just a, crushing faces. Yeah, there's an evil tall man. Yeah. I don't want to deal with that. That's, you know, some shenanigans I don't want to have to fucking put up with. Je de. Juillet 25, AD 2156. So you're still doing you? Nah, I've been kind of skimping on that lately. Okay. Weird locking mechanism, you say? I'm going to jab it with my finger. Shit. Well, alright. I'm going to guess there's like a scared fat kid in there. Holding the door shut. Okay. That's the most excellent, perfect locking mechanism. The scared what the fat kid. Fuck! I knew I was right. You were right. Jiggle, jiggle, fatty. Is your mother around? Or your father? <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie. All right. 
Did he turn into an original Xbox? Oh. No. A welding mask burst out of his face. Oh, Remember, okay. that was child John Defoe. We saw him briefly in Chilby's notes. Oh, the dreams. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, good. You're up. I'm not going to help you up because I'm a bitch. <laughs> My hands are super glued into my pockets. I'm too embarrassed to tell anybody. I have two PhDs. I can't I can't let anybody know that I covered my hands in super glue and got them stuck in here. Can you please wipe my bum? Well, it's as good an explanation as any. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay, so Canning and Trilby are still wandering about. Well, Canning's in his office okay. and Trilby is guarding it. So, Sam's plan is that you have to lure the guard away and give mm. Sam the chance to slip in. I'll do that with my sexy butt. Sexy butt. Okay, this is establishing that since we've got a phone, we can call any of the characters when we need to and communicate with them as if they were in the room. All oh, right, okay. So this place has some pretty good coverage for an underground fortress. Within the complex, yes. You can't con- communicate outside the complex, just with each other. Wait. Let's have a look at a book. Looks like some more flavor text. Sweet, delicious flavor. Right, more books of Chizo. Mm-hmm. Remember, like, Linkman was throwing these at us in the last game. But this is a new one. I think this is recounting the events of Trilby's notes. The guide is Trilby. Ah, okay. But the bridge keeper is John Defoe. Yeah. Touched one of the ignorant yes, men. by their conjoined hands was the thief wife thrown down. The thief wife is Simone Taylor. And the guide came for the tr- for the tree that was the prince's soul. Blah de blah de blah. And there's a post-it note on that locker. Got a, got a well, now you're not in the post-it. dream sequence. You might want to try opening it again. Okay, this is a this is a clever puzzle. You can solve it now. There's nothing that will like give you any further hints than that post-it note did. You have only to ask. Yes. Open. Well, try it. Yeah, thing just booped. Huh. Uh, continue the rampage in Monster Dash now. No, thank How you. How do I? Does it just decide if it's open? Do I click just the X? Close it. Um, All right. Well, I didn't do anything. Now trying to open it again. Oh, hey, it did work. Okay. Well done, you. Anything else in there? I can't tell because you're in the way. Your big fat ass is in the way. Oh, that's my sexy butt. My Aha! Sexy butt. sexy butt. I may have fallen down an elevator shaft, but I still got cheeks. How can you tell? It's just oh, a on, black look at shape. That. I look like a peach that's been doing squats. Tuck your shirt in, you yeah, mucky I mean, pup. You know, it's no excuse for slovenliness. Well, look who's here. Janine. You know, I watched Microwave Never Pings. Whoa, <laughs> that's an expositional window right there. <sighs> My brain read that as, like, Dirty Harry. Dr. Harty. <laughs> I'm going to call her Dirty Harry now. Well, she's pretty dirty. She's got a dirty past. Filthy harlot. And super glue hands. Yeah, she's, she's defaulting to Sam on this. Sam is the brains of the operation. Okay. Yeah, she's too terrified to leave the sleeping quarters. Punch fear. Alright, so I'm presuming she means a tall man. Bloody, 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 blah. Oh, I got a sneeze. It's creeping up my nose. Go away, sneeze. Oh no. Ah, oh, there it goes. If right. I punch you in the face, will you stop? <sighs> no, it'll probably make it worse. I could try to break your nose in such a way that the bone plugs up the hole. <laughs> Spend the rest of the thing talking like this. Well, it can only be an improvement on your usual smug tones. Uh. Yep, Sam's a mystery. All right, look, Janine, I reckon you can take like the, the the two of us. She just called Sam a horse. Did you hear that? Mm. It's plural for whore. Uh, Telling about Trilby. There we go. Trilby's the character. <laughs> that rakish rogue. Bunch of horror movies based on a series of novels from the early 21st century. Written by Darting Flimshaw. No. 
<laughs> yeah, so basically the STP encouraged a novelist to fictionalise Trilby so that everyone would forget he was ever real. <sighs> Just like 9-11. Yeah, so he's a sad fanboy. But he looks exactly like Trilby from the old photos Janine has seen. He's probably had surgery. That kind of crazy shit. Like, imagine, like, a world where sort of just that kind of surgery is really easy. You can just go in and get, like, a new face. So, yeah, apparently they're both dreaming about welding masks. <laughs> that, that, that's, a, that's a sex dream metaphor. That's what that is. Oh, the, the, feel the sexual tension in the room. You can cut it with a welding torch. Note. Uh, what's he, what are you about? Say, good looking. Had any <laughs> dreams about welding masks lately? Perhaps yeah, you could both have the same more. dream about a welding mask and then say, do you come here often? So this is like a prayer of the uh, Order of Blessed Agonies. It's saying the body is associated with the past, the mind with the present, and the soul with the future. Yeah. That's because the body of John Defoe was destroyed in the past and his soul was destroyed in the future. So presumably, his mind is what's left to be destroyed here in the present. Okie dokie. Do you see? Yes. Do you see? Yeah, why don't you kneel on that? I'm sure your knee Try. will only improve. Alright, uh, that's my prayer cushion for kneeling. I don't know, man, like if your order's about pain, I think a kneeling cushion's a little bit hoity-toity. You know, no one's ever brought that up, but in, in retrospect, you're probably right. Yeah. Why would an order obsessed with pain have a kneeling cushion? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll yell at you from over here. Maybe pain is too blessed to be just given away so casually. Okay. Oh, blimey, there's long expositional conversations in this game. Yeah, our neck is broken. Okie dokie. So luckily we got into a brace in All right, time. well, yeah, that's fair then. You don't want to be rough and tumbling with a broken neck. I've read interesting things about wrestlers like um, who've broken their necks like during matches and not known. Um, yeah. There's a girl called Lita, and she went to the doctor a day after the injury, and the doctor said if you'd sneezed solidly, you probably wouldn't be walking. Yep. And that's fucking terrifying. Uh, yeah. Fucking she's not prepared to reveal. Why don't you ask her why she's being so secretive? She's a biochemist. That's... Mm. Also, yeah. Yeah, that's a warning sign, isn't it? <laughs> be morally flexible. Moral. You haven't asked her why she's being so secretive. Where is it? Fourth one down. I like to think she has a smug voice. Like yours. Yeah. We get along. Yeah. yeah me and her. And yeah. she's never seen the man in red before, or so she claims. Hmm. Alright, so are you giving, like, spoilers now? Like, is that going to ruin no, it? No, no, no. She's actually, that was one of the few things she's telling the truth about. Indomitable spunk. Yeah, she's telling the truth about having never seen the man in red before. That's the, that's the only spoiler. Okay, so now you're just fucking with me. Yeah. Uh, just now like I have the game. two layers of Yahtzee fucking with me yeah, now. Yeah, I'm this fucking with you from every angle. I'm, you're being fucked with in stereo, mate. <sighs> Gypsy said. All right, so that was some exposition. I'm gonna limp my way out here, and I have to get I have to get Trilby away from the door. Yes, that's mission. Okay, and yep. okay. So, uh, what's her name? Also said, and preferably out of the hallway. Is there two levels of success I can have to this, or is it just the one thing? I have to get him permanently away from the door, and uh, that won't cut it. Yeah, why was well, you, what you there? what you do have to do is get him chasing you, and then go into a specific room. Okay. Shit! You've been trilbied! What does he do? He catches you. Oh. Alright. And he muscles you into the holding cell. Okie dokie. You fucked that up. Let me out. This is quite Zach McCracken y. Being left in a cell. Oh, those cunning sods thought of everything. Yeah, all right, I can't. What have I got? Lens. Uh, okay, so it's a right click. Oh. A disturbance and a corpse. 
<laughs> Say, that corpse looks a little familiar. <laughs> the remains of an anorak. Do you know who that is? Um. Look at him again. The huge hole in the back of the skull is relevant. I can't remember. Come on. It's our old pal Linkman from Chilby's Notes. Oh, right, okay. Remember the tall man was using him as a puppet to speak to the cult with. I I not touch the disturbance. Alright, nope. So I'm presuming that's what happens when I get caught. I just... Yep, you just fade, get man in red is out of there. Okay. So I have to get Trilby chasing me. Yes. Um, okay, what room is this? This is the storage room. Okay. I'm trying to think about where can I lock him. Like, I mean, do I get him into the... Can I get him into the prison room? Just maybe see what he has to say about that disturbance you found. Go the other way. I mean... I mean, uh, try and see what Trilby has to say about that disturbance. Ah, uh, so, yeah. Well, that was my plan. I was going to lure him in. Uh. Well, good. Do that then. Um, Other way. Whoop. You fool! You fool! You almost destroyed the universe. Time warp. Yoo-hoo! Sit. It's no fair. I'm running on a crippled... He can swing both his arms. Yeah. Cheating. I have to shuffle. Unusually, Theo Ducard was one of the few characters who needs to have a different sprite for facing left and right. Cause his that must have been a big pile of annoying work for you. Yeah, because his injuries are asymmetrical. Ding, 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 ding. Rad. Yeah. Alright, well, that solves the Trilby issue. Yeah. Tall Until man's he's back got, again. Tall man's got some issues with uh, that guy. Mm. Something seems to be happening to the background. Who's buggerizing around with me universe? Right, now uh, you got rid of Trilby, so now you can give uh, Sam a call and uh, take down the cultist. Oh, okay, so I can call her. I, I like this, the sort of um, um, sort of half background thing. Like I like that, I think. It's... Well, you'll get to see a lot of it. Um, I got the other way from there. That's the one. Yep, she just comes into the room now to take up her usual position. She's running, practically sprinting. Okay. Okay, just stop there. Fine. Well done, Theo. What a hero you are. Let's do this! Oh, Jesus. Huh, Sam seems rather dismissive of someone being killed. But then she saw the previous one get killed as well. But we yeah. didn't. Well, that and, you know, we're being kept prisoner by a fucking... Like, I just want to get out. I don't... Yeah. Yeah, can Yeah, he? he's been tied... He, he died too recently this time. Ooh, what does that mean? Hmm... No, actually, she's been kind of a bitch about that. Well, she, she has got a gun. I don't really want to make trouble at this point. <laughs> Bullet in the leg. Bullets in the leg don't help, Doc. I don't... I mean... You know, Biochemist should probably know that. Canning gets to take a Hannibal Lecter on the far side of the glass roll for the rest of the game now. Oh, rad. So you can't call the elevator ha-ha-ha. Yeah, action movies. Yeah, probably. Tor torture someone who's a member of the Order of Blessed Agonies. I've got it. We'll Good luck. Him. Good luck with that. Tickles. Tickle him. So the next task is to open up the hub. Alrighty. So I should... Oh yeah, I'm sure he'll tell me loads of stuff. Oop, she's gonna, he's gonna sow seeds of discord. All right, Canning, what's she about? More conversations. Well, hey.
Canning was also the name of someone I went to school with. Hmm. Uh, that's how I pick up a lot of surnames, it seems. Okie dokie. Alright, so Trilby's just gonna keep popping back. Uh, what was that noise you just made? Um, this is my. Okay, let's get through this info dump again. Okay. Um, what's the deal with this cult? What's the deal <laughs> with <laughs> cult? You pointed that out, the deal. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. First they imprison you, and then they break all your arms and legs. Jeez. And my neck. Get a clue, guys. That's not going to land you many recruits, is it? Just stick with the Scientology method. And you go into the recruitment booth and they say, Now, first thing we're going to do is snap every bone in your body. <laughs> Beating, burning and cutting. Yeah, Canning's just telling us shit I've already said again. Yeah, the agony of the soul can only be experienced once, obviously. That's something that happens in one of the text adventures. I bet they don't the, masturbate anymore, either. The disillusioned acolyte of the Order had to undergo the agony of the soul by murdering her boyfriend. Oh. So yeah, Canning still believes like his superiors are going to let him in on what all this is about at some point. Yeah, okay. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, he's just toying with you. Don't be a jerk. Yes, the tall man is the prince. But we knew that already. Yeah. Yeah, this game makes a lot of... Um, Tell, because he was constantly humming Raspberry Beret. This game makes a lot of concessions for people who've never played any previous games. Who? The man in red. We all take very good care of our robes. Yeah, so he can't be one That's, of our boys. Yeah. Proper robe care is... I think day three of the induction. Um, it's very important. Yeah, in between. That yeah. comes after all the bone snapping. Yeah, we're about pain, not slovenliness. It's just. Yeah, we think it's possible to enjoy your pain without yeah. um, making a big thing out of it. Okay, so I suppose I'll just go take a look at the doors and hope that maybe they Well, that'll probably be a good do. start. Uh, well, it's not going to open if you stare at it, Sam. <laughs> I'll use my mind powers. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing, boy? In the kitchen. Yeah, the man in red has his seems to have his own agenda that mm. doesn't involve helping you guys, except to make sure you stay alive. Oh, yourself together. I wonder what she was doing. Was she, like, trying to... I'm imagining some kind of, like, weird um, sci-fi horror thing where she was, like, trying to clone the prince or something. It's like, let's make clones of demons. Well, we know she's a biochemist, and yeah. we know she doesn't want to talk about the morally flexible stuff she was doing for the cult. <laughs> morally flexible. Uh, He's basically okay, a so resident a evil character. Miracle passcode... So we need a key cord. Well, happily, we already have that. We found it in the locker. That was really easy. And we need a passcode. Okay, so... Not the key card. So I don't need that. So there's two, like, control panels either side of the door. Can we get in here now? What was... Alright. No, that was a security camera room. I don't know if I've got anything to do with... Okay, maybe... All right, I think I've got go an to, idea. Go to the room you haven't explored properly. Which is Canning's office. Because you never had a chance to be in there while you're in control. Well, I figure I'm going to have to get security camera footage to see someone put a passport in. Very good. Da, 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 da. But Circle. I am going to dig up, like, okay. Documents. More stack documents. of documents. Oh boy, a whole stack of documents to read. I wonder if they've been collated. Yep, there's a video camera having a peek. Oh, okay. That doesn't show up in my... Yes, yeah, it's a thick stack of useless reports. Not sure why oh, you picked them up. Oh, I got a up. staple. Yeah. In case you need to... 
filing. Poke someone. In case you need to annoy someone by poking them. <laughs> jab, jab, jab. Oh, okay. Hey, world building. So, yep, there's two realms. Magic with the K, it makes it real. So the druid Cabadath created a bridge between the realms easily in 55 BC because there was more magic around back then. Since then, the background level has faded and a ritual much larger in scope would be required to transport an entity from one realm to the other. Such as a bridge, Uh, like John Defoe. All three aspects annihilated in conjunction. Echoes of weakness ripple through the membrane that separates the world. blah de blah de blah Uh-huh. Right. There's that, there's that clue. Yes, there's a clue. I'm surprised you, I can't do the old, uh, you know, drawing it with a pencil to... Use the computer. Already. Computer. Hmm. I think I, if memory serves, that's the only thing you can do. Well, I'm going to go through it anyway. Of course you will. That doesn't do anything. So now that you've done that, you can use the computer in the security room. But I'm just going to tell you so you don't just wander around for hours looking for what to do. Well, no, I already, I'd already figured this puzzle out. I was, I, at most, I was probably going to see if the lab door was open. Okay. Well, it won't be. Uh, must be a security lock that's not the security lock I was just monkeying with. Yes. It was just the security for the uh, touchscreen of the security cameras that uh, that computer controls from another room. Uh, change camera. Camera one is a corridor. Camera two is... Looks a, like the bunks. Looks like bunks. Not the bunks in the sleeping quarters we know. Uh, it must be different bunks. Some tubes. Some tubes. Oh, that was the one you just clicked on. Uh And there's there's the office. Review input. And there's Canning in his office. There's something written on the notepad, but you can't quite make it out. Download current image. No, that's not the right thing to do. Oh, really? Yeah, you've already got the image. The image is on the screen. You just have to magnify the image on the screen somehow. Not that screen. Okay, so I can't. It's not not to do with this anymore. Yeah, you're done with that. Uh, no, don't leave. Uh, I'm not sure how many more clues you need. You have this. There is the thing on. The, I have to bring it up again now. So, turn the camera for review input. Now, the combination is on the monitor there, mm-hmm. but uh, if you look at the monitor, it's the combination's too small to make out. So you need something to magnify what's on the monitor. Thank you. Well, well done. Why did I have to download it to my phone, then? You didn't. Oh, so That's I can something, just... something you use later. Oh, okay. 7759? Yes. Do, 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 do. No, I don't use the lens on that. That would be silly. I suppose I have to get her to... No, you, you've got one arm free. Oh, I thought it was something we had to do at the same time. Right, and the slot for the key card that we found in the locker. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Oh. Thank you. A little positive fucking support. Well, you say that. Uh, and then a backhanded compliment. I never tell you your ponytail makes you look like a colossal bitch. Now the wheels need to be turned simultaneously. We can't do it. We've only got one arm. Well, let's go get Little Miss Two Hands. Let's give her a ring. We can do that now with the magic of 22nd century technology. We need your help. Janine. Janine. 
all these flighty women. They need oh, a big, useless. Needs to be a big, strong man around here. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on. Come on. She's going to die now. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Well, that went up fast. Oh, we've been tricked. Oh, goodbye. I'm going to die now. Or maybe she's going to do something suspicious. And we shouldn't take our eyes off her because she's... She's going to destroy some evidence that she's a horrible person. Hey, is her hand out of her pocket? Well, it oh, was. was fun. Hardy, you were kind of a bitch. Janine's talk talking weird. Well, one's dead and the other's lost her marbles. This is fantastic. Yeah, something is influencing Janine's mind. Periods. No, not. Oh, it's Buddha. Shut up. <laughs> There's a crow outside. <laughs> yeah, I'm willing to bet you and that crow have like an enmity that's been going on for quite a while now. Yeah, every now and again, I look out the window and catch its gaze, and both of us narrow our eyes, <laughs> and a weird musical sting plays. Huh. What care does the man in red have for police action? <laughs> like, come on, he's a teleporting guru. Like, oh, I'll just get him arrested. Hey. Stop messing with my soul. Bloody mysterious man in red. Oh, I can't Shinji Akari her. What Gabriel means there is that he can't masturbate over her corpse. <laughs> I wonder if the little disturbance is still going on. Apparently yeah. not. I don't know, maybe the disturbance has locked the door. There seems to be a lot of disturbances going around. Uh, 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 oh, uh, there's uh, another uh, one. Uh, settle down, someone's fucking with the tuning. Oi, you kids. Well, that kind of looks like the manacles from the creepy basement from mm. five days, don't they? Oh, hey, perfectly healthy me. <laughs> Choke slam. Hmm. We turned into the tall man. Alright, look, Buddha, just give me some fucking answers here and stop being a dick. Ha, huh, you want answers, that's cute. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, there's a day mechanic in this, I forgot about that. And we're two days away from July 28th. Ooh -wee! So we have to know what's in the hub. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> no, <clears throat> no, can't die. Yeah. yeah, they're over here. We're standing on the blood. Yeah. <laughs> What's still on the floor? I'm going to reprogram you. You're my chariot. You carry me around and I get places quicker. Yeah, okay. First questions first. Okay. Yeah, you can't mm. be Trilby, because Trilby was... Trilby would be two, over 200 years old. And he's uh, being remarkably level-headed about this. <laughs> Pragmatic, I mean. Just, you know, well, yeah, this, bit... is, this is what I know. Yeah, he seems to be closer to the original Trilby. Pragmatic to a fault. Mm. Mm, John mm. Defoe. We've never okay. heard that name before. Yeah, what do you remember? Finally, asking the questions we all want answered. Standing on a hill, watching something burning in the distance. A place that was two places at once. Lying mm. on something hard while your stomach really hurts. My tummy hurts. Because it was stabbed. Aggregate. Yes, this is where you dive. <laughs> I 
Theodore. Yep. The Theodore DeCarb's name is actually quite significant. But if you can't figure out why, I'm not going to tell you. It's like a... Uh, oh, found... Oh, I thought I hadn't written an examine dialogue for that. Let's pick it up. Oh. I'm not sure you can even bend over. <laughs> I'm going to mop it up with some of the box. Hey, uh, 287, all right. I'm background to seems to have faded a little more. And that door's open. It was, uh, it was oh, closed before. SpaghettiOs. Well, there's not a great track record for walking into dark doorways, but we seem to have gotten through this one all right. Mm. Use the computer. Those are great. CRT <laughs> monitors in the 22nd century. <laughs> well, that was after the great plasma crisis of uh, you know 2085. Yes. Who would have thought all the plasma in the world would turn out to give us brain cancer? <laughs> Ooh. Bleh. Okay. So they mentioned the uh, the sample of blood they took from Chilvy at the end of Chilvy's notes. Hands. Get Hands, some... shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes. Hands, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and All toes. Right, so we're getting some Ellen Ripley going on here. Oh, hey. Hey, you'll buddy. Know, you'll notice when you moused over him earlier, his uh, name was Guard. Mm. And now when you moused over him, he calls him Trilby. Mm. Something that almost destroyed you. Well, you were dead for a while, so... The answers I seek are in the heart of battle. You're just a clone. So, this is a puzzle. We have to help I, him yeah. remember things. I guessed. Okay, let's see what this one tells me. Come on, more flavor. Mm, yum, 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 yum. This has got more flavor than a packet of ramen noodles. Pride for Uh That was Lenkman, I think. Damn you, Lenkman. And Link and the Prideful <laughs> and the Acolyte. Prince was displeased. I remember that. And the Prideful Acolyte became the puppet. Hmm. And knew the name of the king. Yes. That's the, the what then that tends to happen a lot in these books. <laughs> He's just got a bit of an ego, the king. Yeah, he just wants attention. Yeah. Say my name! Say my name, Hiya. bitch! Hat. Hat. Let's put it on. Oh. Let's not put it on. Oh, come on. Yahtzee's proven anything. It's a Trilby suit, everybody. Maybe it would help hold your skull together. Yeah, just... <laughs> your head is mush. I kind of do like the I'm fucking crippled game mechanic, though, because it does kind of get you out of a lot of stuff of, you know, why don't they just do this, or why don't they try and defend themselves? Yeah, I think... Uh... By this stage in the series, I've gotten used to finding ways to fill in the plot holes. <laughs> Quick, uh, I need an excuse. Yeah, you can't, and you can't turn them wheels. Yeah. So it looks like you need another two pair of pairs of hands. All right, let's go see how Janine's doing. Yep. Janine! Fucking mental. No question about that. Crazy lady. How are you doing, Smiley? Hey, buddy. Yes. Nice evil goatee you've got there. Oh, is that what that is? What do you think it was? I don't know. I think it was wearing lipstick or something. Well, just from here, he's just got like a funny, like, orange pile of face. <laughs> Wobbles of a sparrow. The Order of Blessed Agonies fears no mortal agency. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Tell me she's dead. Bio yes, she was a biochemist. Clone. Are you sure? 
Your questions bore me. <laughs> Who is John Duffer? Yeah, he's really getting his lecture on. He's all he, John Duffer is deep inside all of our hearts. Well, Every yeah. time we kick a baby. You probably noticed the corridor turning into the basement from five days, which was the location John mm. Defoe was most familiar with. If you can figure out by yourself what work Dr. Hattie was doing for us. Yeah, I think you know the right answer here. Da, 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 da. I like to get people to like figure out the story by introducing these sort of pop quizzes on the plot so far. <laughs> Yahtzee we, demands your full attention. We, I will test you on this later. We did that in Five Days of Stranger once, and it happens a couple of times in this game, because there's a lot of stuff we need the player to understand. <laughs> 